Admiring the impeccable craftsmanship and razor-sharp edge of his Sumerian battle axe, Silas finally grasped the stark contrast in weapon quality. In the past, he had considered the prices charged by master blacksmiths to be nothing short of extortion. But, faced with the gravity of his own life hanging in the balance, he'd gladly part with a small fortune for a star metal weapon. Unfortunately, there was no one willing to sell him such a prized possession. Recollections of a dusty forgotten book on his shelf, the Riddle of Steel, stirred in his mind. He had initially cracked it open with a determined resolve, only to grow impatient with its esoteric nature. It delved into giants, gods, patience and rituals, none of which he cared for or had time to entertain. However, buried within its pages lay practical knowledge that he sought. His first step was to master the art of working with iron, a decision he made reluctantly but resolutely. Only after mastering the basics could he begin to unravel the secrets of Steelfire. This endeavor promised to be a challenging quest, requiring him to venture far and wide to put these teachings into practice. All while the looming threat of the Stygian siege and relentless assaults demanded much of his attention. However, Silas knew the land like the back of his hand, and sneaking out of his base was risky but not impossible. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Mr. Belelish and today we are going to start off a little bit different. We're going to expand our base a little bit with the resources we acquired from the latest purges. And we're going to try and figure out if we have a way to just go through one or two journey steps just so we can get a bit closer to the point where we can actually craft a good weapon because relying on this Cimmerian battle axe while it is very good for the stage of the game we don't have a means to repair it so that's going to become a problem eventually. Let's start off by the base expansion. Okay, so this is what we did. It does not look pretty, by the way, but it, that's okay. We still have that main door, and then we're going to try and force them to go left there, go up to that little room there, and then on that one. So we have two more rooms than we previously had to slow them down, to allow them to fight. If our thralls come out, they have a longer way to go to reach like really dangerous positions. So I think it might work we have to test it out real quick we will test it out in the next perch for sure now whoop. another thing i did is i made a thrall pot just over here just so we don't need to always put some food on our guys i also crafted a campfire up here so we can have some gruel we can grab the fibers and seeds by hand, as we agreed previously, so now hopefully during the purge, when our guys get injured, they might just dip into the thrall pot and get some food to start regening. It's not amazing food, but it is what we have now. And we want to start with the blacksmith journey line because it will unlock some recipes for a perfected steel battle axe that is actually a bit better than the one we have, I think. And we can unlock it at level 30 if my math is correct. So we will need to harvest some resources for the journey step, but we won't harvest any resources outside of that requirement. Unlock, let's switch journey to this one. Access or place a furnace. So a furnace, this one's easy. We already have one. Just need to go in here and access this furnace. Perfect. Let's quickly check what's next. Harvest ironstone and harvest coal. Okay, we found iron ore right here. Let's just kill the boar. And we can gather this iron ore. And we completed that journey step. So right now to return to our base and to some coal, we can just jump down here. No, okay. Just held on there. And on top of the horse, on top of some coal as well. 
Let's just check what the next journey step is. Smelt, blacksmith bench, iron tools, and craft. Let's put the ore there, iron ore, and the coal. And once the iron bar is smelted, we'll be good to go for the next one. We have to take it out. Yep. Right. Our coffer is looking a bit main crafting area-ish, which I'm not very happy with. But let's make an iron tool. Are they all the same cost? Yes, they are. Let's let's craft iron sickle and an iron sword. Blacksmith completed. Okay, so we did already add the iron weapon, or does the sickle count as a weapon as well? I'm not sure. Let's claim the reward. But this is the one we want. We need a tannery for this one. We need to gather brimstone. Scrath steel fire, but this is kind of gated by level 30 because the steel tools and the steel weapon is unlocked at only level 30. So what we want to do now is just start a new purge and see if we can get some more resources out of it. We are going to tell the Dune Man, the Dragoon, to follow us so he can gain some XP. I'm not going to put any equipment on him because I'm going to tell him to stop and just sit back here while he gains some experience while watching his friends fight. He is our best archer, so we're just going to try and put some levels into him, see if that pans out in our favor. And I think that's it. Let's proclaim our wealth and if we are underprepared in any way um we'll have, just have to deal with that okay they seem to be coming from the left side let's take cover in here because it's already the rough ones let's see if our archers can get the attention of some of them why we take care of these two so our first line of defense is not immediately breached okay now we can go Ooh, there's some more of them coming our way all right okay our follower got another level in I'm going to start with some sated bonus uh, I'm not sure what's happening. A lot more guys coming. Do they seem like slaves? Some of them, yes. Okay, this is a slave wave. I'll probably take a bunch of these guys with one combo. Okay, let's start with some regen and some bandages. If we have the time to relax, we should use it. We are extremely hot, which is not good for our stamina. Well, it's not good for anything. We are taking damage from the heat. That soup really does a number on us. Okay, we are very hot so only now. Let's start by healing up. Okay, so note to self, do not eat fiery hot soup might not be the best idea in the world actually without the shield the moveset is a little bit better to deal with all these guys master of slaves is here She's down. I want to take some healing reps here. There's a bunch of harder foes coming our way this time, including two demolishers. Let's take care of those two. Three demolishers, okay. Four demolishers. Okay, let's. Open the, open these doors. Oh. 
have our guys in there do some work as well. They have been having quite an easy purge. Well, you are a demolisher, so I'm going to allow you in. This is getting a bit hectic for my taste. Commander is challenging us. Let's take care of this guy first. This time the slaves don't seem to have been stuck inside the cages. Let's get him a little bit off the path and start chipping away at his HP. Best thing we can do for our man now is kill this guy as fast as possible. And we are victorious. Let's quickly get our treasure. So, Gilded Urn, some armors, some materials. Not a Gilded Urn, a, a horde. Alright, that's that. What about here? Some stairs, some armors, nothing out of the ordinary. Let's take all. Let's see in terms of thralls, what did we get? Last time we got the Dragoon, which is really good. Darfari Archer 1 and the Wave Runner. Okay, so that's a named fighter. Not bad. Let's take this guy with us first and then we'll come back for the other one. Okay, so we equipped our new Thrall here. Heck, the Wave Runner. Um, we repaired our doors. That's about the extent of work we did. What we do want to do is get ahead on the Steelsmith going. We did level up to level 30. Access or place a Fireball Cauldron. This we already have here. Perfect. Let me just run through what we did. We dismantled our blacksmith bench in order to make a tannery. We did have to go get some bark, but it was just 50. Well, I got a little bit extra to make some tar. We went to the Shattered Springs real quick, got one piece of brimstone. We crafted some steel fire. We crafted a steel bar. We unlocked the tools. And by unlocking the tools, we already had a steel tool and a steel weapon. So these two were automatic. Uh, I was expecting to have to make them. That's why I have the, the steel reinforcements here because I was going to turn them into steel because this is all the steel we have. The journey is complete. So let's claim the reward. And we got the recipes for the perfected steel battle axe, which is really cool because it is a weapon that Silas is becoming fond of. Let's see in terms of damage what they... 35 health damage, 0 armor pan, so it's slightly better. Let's put the weapon fitting, just so we have some upgrades going. And start the next purge. It is, we are at 5,700. Let's start by proclaiming our wealth. Here they come. And Silas is ready. Let's get in here, just so we get... A little bit of the vision right off the start. Let's take the shield out. Yikes, ouch. It hurts. Drink a potion. Okay, let's open this. 
Because this guy is hitting us. There's a lot of dudes there by the archers. I'm not sure what I would do if we didn't have the archers there. The archers distracting them is... Okay, didn't notice there was a bomb guy there. And there's another one. Run. Okay, one of the bomb guys killed the other bomb guy. Jesus. Click the potion here. I don't know why he's hitting the ground. Oh shit. Damn it, I died. This is bad. This is real bad. Okay, I think I'm not going through the front door. I'm going through here. Gee, the bomb guys are really wrecking me. They are fighting off walls inside. Je Ouch! Jesus. Let's drink a potion here, one of the good ones, because we do need to go in here and help our guys out. has died. This is real bad. I think we lost a lot of treasure there. By him destroying that. Don't destroy the stairs. Everyone that is going to be distracted by the archers, we're going to let them be. Okay guys, you have to start hitting this one. Oh, oh, just straight in? Is it added? Not sure where the other demolisher went. He's over here. Okay, I think we're going to lose all our walls going to or already did I'm not sure what's happening in this purge because it is considerably harder than the previous ones I'm not sure why been challenged by the commander just going to ignore everything else drink a potion and go there
Make a potion here. Shields up. And we will have our victory, but at what cost? This was a rough one. This was a really rough one. Jesus. Okay. Let's get the loot. Nothing here that would justify our losses. And uh, this isn't a bad haul. Did we get any treasure out of it? We didn't get any treasure? Oh no, we got the Golden Argosian Bruzy. Alright, so I hope you two guys are really, really good because we kind of lost some people. Hipporian Dancer 3 and Stygian Fighter 3. Alright. They're not, not terrible, but they don't make up for the loss. Yeah, me dying there was a big mistake. They actually destroyed quite a bit of our coffer as well. Now, let's mm -hmm. check out the damage here. Yeah. Okay, there's quite a bit of damage. And it destroyed some of our treasures. I actually destroyed quite a bit of our treasure. So we were thrown back to urge level 2. We had 5,000, so a lot of the treasure was completely obliterated. Uh, so, okay, I have to rethink things a little bit. We have to pull our purge back to level 3. We wanted to get it up to level 4. I have to think what I'm going to do in terms of the defense. Okay, we repaired our coffers. But we lost a lot of our fortune because they destroyed the foundations they were sitting at. And we lost that value. So we're back to threat level 2. Let's proclaim our wealth real quick. We have these two, these are the new thralls we got, so this is our inner guard. Mm, let's tell one of these guys to follow us and then stop. Maybe you follow and stop. And then we go back down here, take the shield off so our AoE is more. Surprise! In the name of Seth. Don't keep destroying my door. Alright, yeah, these are much easier to deal with. But I mean, it was just a urge level 3. So we really got our butts kicked by a purge level 3. Which is kind of sad if you if you think about it. At the very least, we can deal with the militias in a purge level two quite easily. One combo actually destroys them. Okay, and the commander is already challenging us. Let's go meet him in glorious battle. These guys are much, much easier. But it kind of, it feels good to be able to do something. 
without being struggling all the time but it, at the same time it feels kind of crappy that we took such a huge step back okay here we get normal stuff nothing interesting here we got the gilded harp nothing interesting other than that let's see what we have in terms of thralls so zingarian bear one and exile three so both of you are quite crappy you do bring a, a falcata though so let's let's go Books are banners. and we will start one right away not even repairing our stuff it's a level two one we shouldn't worry too much i'm going to tell this guy to follow and to stop maybe we can get some levels into him okay here come the slaves don't hit our doors And we won another one. Let's get some region going. Let's see what we get in terms of treasure. Okay, Gilded Urn and some supply materials, which might be good. And short sword. All right, not too bad. You're a dancer. Larfari dancer one. Mm -hmm. Not sure if it was worth it. Another dancer. Nordheimer dancer two. Do you have stone? Mm -hmm. you. you guys aren't going to survive for long. Uh, we are almost at level three again. So this should be our last level two purge. Let's proclaim our wealth. I am a little bit tipsy because I had some jungle rum. Jungle Rum, what it does is that plus 21 stamina buff, which I think it might serve us well. I think we repaired everything. Yeah. Our archers are all set. We also have a couple more archers over there. Let's see if they handle that area well enough. My main worry is that they fall down trying to get to the edge, but we'll see. Here they come. Let's use our strategy of fighting in here, just so okay, some of them are going after that. Oh, come on, let me in. Gee. This is rough. I'm almost dead. Jeez, okay, okay, let's take a second here. Already banging on this one. They already destroyed this door as well. Oh, this is not going very well for us. This is a bit embarrassing. This is still a level 2 purge. Okay. They're all going for the archers so far, which is fine by us. Let's help out the archers right now. Ouch. 
Okay, have a potion. Letting this guy just sit here hitting my door while they're dancing. Well, we did put some dancers as our main guards. Okay, the commander is coming, so we will meet them here in these sand dunes. Should make short work of him. And they have surrendered. Let's kill these two because they were annoying me. All right, now let's see the loot. The main event. Another shield, some treasure, Jebel Sag. Let's use it. We can learn all the religions. All right, take all. Um, a few more stuff, nothing too fancy. What are you, buddy? Bear two, and another dancer. Well, they keep giving me dancers, so it's not my fault that they end up dying at the doors. Okay, you can follow me. Let's take all from this guy and. You, you can stand guard there. Don't think too much about the person that's dead, just exactly in the spot you are. Um, we can give you some armor, why not? Uh, actually, this we can use because ours broke. Okay, we are in the cusp of being attacked by another level 3 purge. We are back to that level. Um, let me just show you the changes I've done. We put the two new thralls here. This thrall here, the Siegen Fighter 3, we made him some armors. We used all the thick leathers we had. So we managed to build three armor pieces. It's not amazing, but it is much better than what he had before. We also put all our crafting tables up here. Put some boxes here for the resources. This is the armor's bench where we got it. We also have the, the press that we used to make some blood, blood that we used to make a potion and respect. Well, we just removed the two points we had in authority and the rest remains the same. I did destroy the alchemy bench. I just used it for, for that potion and then I destroyed it because I needed the resources. So this is all we have right now. It's tricky because we need thick leather to craft those armors and we don't have a lot of it we are constrained by the the resources we get from the purge but there is an option of going to Saper Meru, getting a bear pelt for every five silver coins so we're going to start saving up the silver coins for that over here is the new crowded quarters of silas he's not happy about this but it, it is what it is we did destroy the thaumaturgy bench we're not going to use any sorcery and the dancer is here. I didn't like that our coffers was looking like a working station. So we just cleared it out. We put one of these shelves where, that we got in the last purge to make it a little bit neater. This one kind of makes sense because it's to make coins. I'm going to leave it here. We have some foundations there from an experiment. I'll take those later. Let's start the purge. We have... 5,200 gold coins of value in our coffers. Okay, so it is in the same place. Last one, probably didn't show it to you guys. It came, they came here, we killed a couple of demolishers and then they said the coffers weren't uh, accessible and they disappeared. We didn't take any damage, so at least that's something positive. But now we're waiting for the next one. Hopefully they won't have the same issue this time.
Oh, these are slaves. Okay, this is uh, this is a problem. Obviously, I died. Well, we got kind of pinned down against that wall. I think we underestimated the power of weak soldiers with long, spiky sticks. Just okay, guys. Let me get my stuff, please. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Why don't I have any potions on me? Jeez, okay. Can I put my potions down? Heal up, please. Okay, this one is not going well. But we can still turn it around, hopefully. Let's get our weapon out. Open this door. Ooh, I think we already got to the notion that a lot of guys with spiky sticks is bad for our health, didn't we? Here. I'm afraid, guys. Okay, luckily. The demolishers forgot to come because this is getting a bit hectic and it's slaves. Uh, well, here they are. for these guys Gee. okay guys help me out here actually in need of assistance Ouch. Okay, good job. Go back, go back before you die. Go back. Well, or don't go back.
Will the bearer survive the night or the day? Okay. Luckily that guy didn't decide to come at us. Yes, yes, very honorable, letting us heal up and incoming. Honorable cutthroat. By the old serpent, invaders. longer in risking my life for that door any longer the door is gone Got a challenge. And we got our victory. We still hear some fighting inside the base. Let's just quickly go see if we can save the life of our bearer. She did a good job holding the line there. Almost died. You guys were solid as ever. Level 3 purges with this equipment is kind of stressful, guys. Not gonna lie. Ooh, iron pike with variable stuff. Burning siege cauldron. Some steel fire, which is good. Let's take all and use this. Some hides, it's not bad, but we would have preferred to have some heavy hides. Anyway, what about your... Mm, again, nothing too great. What do you mean, where do I think I'm going? I'm going nowhere, this is my spot. I can release you, but... I'm not going to buy anything from you just yet. <laughs> I am free. What did we get in terms of thralls? Freebooter Mirak and Aina the Light. Okay, so two tier four guys. Okay, so we are going to start our second level three purge since the recovery. Wish me luck. This is going to be a rough one as well. We have a couple more capable thralls inside. So let's see if we can make use of them without risking the coffers getting overwhelmed as well let's proclaim our wealth we didn't do much to the base we just repaired and equipped these guys um the freebooter mirak and aina the light i gave aina the light the, the good armor because she's a bear so she already has a lot of hp just try to make her a little bit more survivable she doesn't have shoes or Love, so let's do that. And the purge is incoming. We also repaired our X as best as we could. Our body is still there, which is fine. It's a reminder that I have to be extra careful. Our tech kudo is already on the job. Oof. I'm a bit nervous. I don't want to be set back to level 2 purges again. Okay. Oh, man. 
Let's do something here. Let's open this and open this. Okay, have these two dudes go in there and deal with our with our thralls. I am going to trust our thralls. Oh crap, they're already destroyed. There's still one of these guys alive? Jesus. They're already destroyed. Okay, this was a mistake. Do not let demolishers in intentionally because your thralls will not take care of it. Still have that door. Let's drink a potion. Okay, this is really rough. Most of our thralls are completely and definitely dead. Ah, oh, damn it. We don't have a way for them to get in here. No. We're going to lose this purge. The commander is challenging us. Let's see if we can just rush there and deal with the commander before the purge decides to spawn away. Maybe. Okay, the commander is coming. Damn it. Having tasted success in his newfound pursuit of blacksmithing, Silas came to realize that military triumph depended just as much on knowledge as sheer might. He turned to his friend Gilzan and entrusted him with the task of obtaining a book he heard whispers about, The Art of War, for which he was willing to part with a generous sum. The contents of the stone were notably more pragmatic, though tinged with philosophical insights. Although he longed to read it cover to cover, Time was a luxury he couldn't afford. He concentrated his limited time on the chapters about fortification and strategizing, eager to apply his newfound knowledge within the confines of his own base. Silas has been hard at work trying to revamp his base defense just so we can deal with the level 3 purges a little bit better. This is going to be the last purge of the episode. I'm really, really praying here that it goes well for us. Otherwise, we have to kind of grind level two a little bit more so we can get more levels more thralls and then bump it up again to level three but i didn't want to do that type of grind just yet but if that's what we must do we shall but for now i'm going to show you what changes did we do so we removed this we had a set of stairs over here and one over here this this one was the one that they destroyed all the time. We had a bunch of tier 3 resources from cannibalizing our base. Finally, we can use them. We are at level 34 at this moment. And the Master Mason is at level 30. So we've been able to do that for a while. So we got a little bit of extra resources to, to spend on this one. By removing the stairs, we will make sure that the Purge always has a way to get to us. Hopefully, uh, I'm not saying that nothing can go wrong, but that's my hope. Outside, we also destroyed everything we had and we made a little bit. Let me show you from the top. We've made a little bit of a labyrinth, so they have to go through here first. 
break up that door then continue go all the way there and then back here three sets of doors i am going to test out these little guard posts with some pikes on my thralls uh, i've tested it out a little bit i know that they can do their, their attacks without coming outside because of that ceiling piece I'm not sure how effective it's going to be making them invulnerable to enemies attacks. Uh, I do think they, they're going to get hit sometimes, but hopefully the defense foundations will make them a little bit more protected than they would normally would be. I did take this idea from a video from, uh, I really cannot pronounce his channel name but i'm going to put the link on the description before the link to that video that's what gave me this idea so i'm not going to take credit for it anyway uh the idea here is while they're bashing on these three doors that guy is able to attack them we should have another guy here oh that first guy is just a sacrificial lamb he's an archer that we gave a pike he has 125 HP, so it's just to see if he survives. The system is really, really good. If he doesn't, it's not much of a tell yet, but that's what we have to work with right now. We have a few more of these spread around over here in this corner. Three more doors and another guard post. This is the last guard post before coming into our base. This is actually our bear thrall. She is not going to do a lot of damage, but she might be able to just poke the, the demolishers in the back while they try to demolish this door. Our garden is not as pretty as it used to be, but that is war. We have to take the aesthetic out and just go for it. Impressive, but we can Okay, we have a purge. Uh, we have been testing out a couple of things to see if we could get it. And we managed to. Hopefully you won't see what we did. Well, one of the things we did was pretty obvious, which was putting these this staircase here so they don't have to go all around there. But we will test out trying to put those things as well. Okay, so we'll try to put those things back in. All right, they're going for the archers. Okay. They are getting hit by by our pikemen. Okay. Let's get some sated bonus. I know there's someone around here. There's an explody guy. Trying to prevent this guy from hitting the door. Oops. Our archers are still doing a great job as always. Okay, we have a lot of guys here with us. Kind of trying kind of Claustrophobic, the setup. Let's drink a potion here. But funneling them in uh, seems to be working so far. Alright, died from poison. Oh, from bleeding. I always call bleeding poison. Let's see if we can get these guys' attention. Me 
Right, so far so good. Okay, they're kind of preventing each other from reaching our reaching us. I don't mind that. To the malicious coming here. Archers are also doing work on this area. So I'm so far I'm happy with this. This story is holding on nicely. Our thrall, the one with 125 total HP, is still alive. We are still alive, which is a first for this these level three purges. Well, not the first, but yeah, you can stagger them. That's mostly what I want you to do from this position. Is there a lot of guys over there? Not too many. Uh, go YOLO on these guys, and then run back to our defensive position. Hey, will the fire get him? Uh, it looks like it. Okay. I do want to go ham on these two. Okay. That's some fire damage done. Drink a potion here, it's only demolishers, they're not going to attack us. Okay, they kind of struggle with these single tile corridors. Which I'm happy about, but it's making me feel a little bit cheesy. It's mostly the demolishers though. Whoops, we've been being flanked. Oh, come on. Come on, let me get one attack in, please. Let's drink a potion. These guys are no joke when they start hitting the new NPCs in general. Like, they are doing a lot more combinations. Oops, they passed our first line of defense. Okay. Okay, the, the commander is challenging us. There's a lot of guys here, but I feel my thralls are relatively safe. And I don't see any demolishers going through the ranks. So let's hurry up and see if we can finish off the commander before we get into some real trouble. There's a lot of guys there, but we are going to ignore them. Okay, the commander is coming our way. Let's take him away from possible reinforcements and slash him to pieces. And we have victory. Victory is ours. They destroyed a couple of doors, the demolishers. I was distracted for a little bit, but that's to, ex to be expected. Let's open the supply materials. Ooh, 500 tar. That's that's a good one. We don't get tar easily here in this playthrough. Alright. What about you guys? Well, well, there's a bear. Are you a tanky bear? Black Corsair Bear 1. Okay. And I'm not sure what this guy is. Our Bearer leveled up. Shemite Archer 3. 
And this is it for this episode. It was a rough one. We started excited about facing the level 3 purges, but that excitement quickly turned into disappointment. We got our butts kicked all the way down to level 2 again, then we had to grind our way back to level 3 only to struggle with it once again. We then decided to revamp our base in hopes to mount a better defense, and it passed its first test but many more will follow. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, as always any comments or suggestions feel free to comment below. Thank you so much for hanging out and I'll see you on the next one.